Hello and Namaste everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Myself Nilesha, a civil engineer graduated from ESC Tribune University from Nepal. In the previous videos, we understood the grid lines and the process of setting up new models of building. Then we learned how to define material properties and section properties. That is how to define the concrete and the steel rivers used in our structural members and the sectional properties like the properties of beams columns slabs etc we define all those things and in this video we will define load patterns load combination mass source and diaphragm so let's get started with the load patterns to define load patterns we will go to first define and you can see here load patterns so here we have load date and type date type and self at multiplier is 1 what does it mean is self at multiplier means the it has to calculate all the loads due to self weight by itself that is we have uh, defined beams columns slabs and then we will assign all those properties all the sections and then it has will be calculating all the dead loads due to their self weights by itself so the self weight multiplier is 1 we, we did not calculate all those loads and then we have live uh, and type is live and the self weight multiplier is 0 that is we have to provide the live load by ourselves now what we will do is we have to give live load we have two kinds of live load and there are criteria for two kinds of live load that is live load less than equal to 3 that is live load up to 3 and then live load more than 3 ok so we will be given load up to 3 type is live self multiply is 0 and new load again live load greater than greater than 3 type is live and add new load and add new load and again for y we have seismic 1893 add new load ok so now we will modify this eqx and eqy in eqx modify lateral load in x direction we will cancel all this percentage ratio is now 5% and Top story is story 5, bottom story is base, response reduction factor is 5 for SMRF building and the seismic zone factor Z, uh, we have some values here and 0 0.36 is for zone 5 so our Nepal is in zone 5 so we are using 0 0.36 and the site type, site type means soil type uh, we are doing this in thorough region so the soil mainly here is weak or soft so we will be using soil type 3 Importance factor is 1 because for all the residential buildings, the importance factor is 1. Importance factor depends upon uh, how much damage can it cause during the earthquake loads. So, if the building is public, it may cause more damage, more destruction. So, the uh, importance factor will be 115 for all the public buildings, but the importance factor will be of 1 for residential buildings. And now, time period time period uh, uh, either you keep program calculated or user defined. We have calculated the time period in preliminary design but here we will keep it as program calculator you can also give user defined value here but we will give program calculated and here we will keep only x direction plus eccentricity similarly in ui x direction we will modify lateral we will uncheck everything and only y plus eccentricity 5% this is 5 everything is ok 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 only the soil type should be 3 here and importance factor is of 1 ok so we have defined the load patterns uh, so we have defined the load patterns after defining the load patterns we will define mass source so we will go to define
we will go to define and mass source in the mass source we will add a new mass source let us give the name mass source itself okay so we will uncheck this and we will only keep a specified load patterns in a specified load patterns so for the dead loads we have multiplier 1 add and for live up to 3 we have the multiplier okay so first let me tell you why do we define the mass source as we all know the seismic weight of building means the total dead load plus the factor of live load factor of live load means if the live load acting on the building is less than 3 then we will be using only 25% of it similarly if the live load acting on the building is more than 3 then we will be using 50% of it uh, you can find this thing in the code uh, IS1893 in table number 8 it is given there so that the factor of live load for that only we are defining mass source here that the e types will calculate itself and for the live loads up to 3 we will be using 0 0.25 ok multiplier so live load greater than 3 we will use 50% that is 0 0.5 add and now for everything and now for everything like uh, wall loads we will be using one yeah and now for everything we will use uh, the multiplier as one parapet one and then floor finish it will be one and we will not be doing and we will not be doing for eqx and eqy here okay and in the mass options include lateral mass and lump lateral mass at story levels and then ok so we have defined our mass source also we have added a new mass source yeah ok and after adding the mass source now we will define the load combinations according to our code there are 9 load combinations so we will be defining uh, one by one uh, here the name is com1 and type is uh, linear add ok uh, add new combo and so the first combination is 1.5 dead load plus 1.5 live load so the scale factor here should be 1.5 dead load we have and for machinery we have wall loads so we will be using this as dead also 1.5 add and now we will be using live load live load up to 3 1.5 add and live load greater than 3 1.5 so divided we have 1.5 of dead loads and 1.5 of live loads so we have added com1 here is com1 similarly we will add all the 9 combinations of the load now I'll be doing this and we'll be fast forwarding the video so that uh, the video will not be too long <laughs> okay so I have added all the nine combinations that are according to our IS codes and now what I will do is I will add one more combo I will add one more combo and I will name it uh, comp10 okay 
contain uh, envelope let's see yeah I will name it envelope only and I will give it a type of envelope in envelope what I will do is I will add all those nine combinations so that when we extract the data it will give the maximum value of all that is uh, which combinations have the maximum value and which combination has the minimum value it will be given in the envelope okay so comb1 add and comb2 add comb3 add and then comb4 add and com5 add and then com6 add and com7 add okay com8 add here and then com9 okay so i have added so i have added all the combinations of load in my envelope and it will be uh, okay now if i extract all the data in the last then i will get i will get the maximum value in envelope combination so i have defined my load combinations so as i told you the advantage of defining envelope is we can get the maximum and minimum value of all the combinations selected in this combination by selecting envelope that is uh, if we had only nine combinations then we needed to check all the values one by one that which is maximum and which is minimum for all the combinations but while using the envelope we will get the maximum and the minimum value among all the combinations okay that's why we defined envelope there and now we will define our diaphragms so first of all let me tell you what is diaphragm our uh, diaphragm is a horizontal according to our code according to our code is uh, 1893 that is for earthquake resisting structures diaphragm is a horizontal or nearly horizontal system which transmits lateral forces to the vertical resisting elements example reinforced concrete floors and horizontal bracing systems it means all the lateral forces okay uh, all the lateral forces it is a horizontal it is a horizontal system that will connect all the nodes in a plane in xy plane and it will it will transmit all the lateral forces to the vertical members vertical members means like column they are uh, the vertical elements they resist earthquake induced inertia effects so diaphragm is most important so we will define diaphragm and we'll be assigning later so to define diaphragms we'll go to define and then diaphragms and here we will uh, add new diaphragm so the so in properties of the diaphragm d1 and we will be using rigidity as semi rigid because we are using cl thin type if we were using the membrane then we would go for rigid and this semi rigid is most common because it will give the most accurate value so we'll go to semi rigid for our cell thin type of slab okay again add new diaphragm that is d2 semi rigid okay we will add the diaphragm for each and every flow we have five stories okay so we'll be using four diaphragm that is we'll be defining four diaphragms yeah okay so we have uh, defined our diaphragms also so in this video we have defined our load patterns mm, and load combinations then mass source and diaphragm okay and in the next videos we will be applying the properties 
that is we the properties that we defined in the earlier video in the previous video uh, the section properties then we will be assigning all the section properties and then we will be assigning loads on beams and slabs that is wall loads imposed loads partition walls etc so this was for today uh, in this video uh, we will be joining in the next video very soon so see you in the next video thank you